we're back playing in T Breach, where John is helping the corporations fight the invading Vec Horde. And he's successfully beaten two levels, and now we're going into Safeguard Valley. Warning, air support. Gonna get down at mines. Aye. Aye. Environmental effects. This mission is a special effect that'll happen every turn. Mouse over the environment icon to get more information. Air support. Nice. Bombs will be dropped on the marked spaces, killing any unit. You won't see where until they happen. I just need to survive, end with less than four mech damage, protect the emergency batteries. That's those, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So if I lose those, I do also lose power and... Uh, lose you will lose quest. power and you will not get the quest, which is you get an extra piece of power. Now, the ones yeah. where you get an extra piece of power are the best because you really need it because there will come a time when you mm. cannot help but lose power. Yeah. Unless you're very good. So which like FTL. <laughs> I'm not. I think I'm gonna go for full it, It's very very FTL like neck behind. In uh, in terms of the um end game is difficult. I've not beaten the game yet, I should point out. I've played it for several hours. I've got to the uh, final boss. Yeah. Oh cover in the trees. Um Oh wow, that's a big area. It's not cover. Uh -huh. It's um, watch out because if someone attacks you there and it damages oh. the trees, light on fire, and then oh, you will be on good. fire. I was like, "That's great!" I'm mean, how are you going to use some trees? But no, it's worse. No, 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 no. You are now flammable. <laughs> yep. That's where I'm going to um, move them anyway. So uh, the yellow squares are where the airport's going to be. Yep. Now they will destroy anything that's in there. Like literally, even if you've got ten hit points. Kill. Um, remember last time I told you if you hold control or shift or whatever it was to see the attack order? Yeah. Again, that is important because the environmental effect will happen it's before first. the enemy's attacks. So, for example, you can't in this turn, obviously, but if you were to punch someone into G6 who was going to attack your batteries, they wouldn't get a chance to attack your batteries because they'd be dead. Yeah. So it's... Not important okay. now, but will it be important in later levels. I think I want to move Chloe there and do this, because that will push the fly out so it doesn't hurt the building, and yeah, moves and hurts the other guy, so why not? Yep. Okay, this guy wants to move out of the woods then, I've just learned. <laughs> and this guy can't move, which is a shame, because I would have moved in there and punched him into him. But I can still just punch you for two, and... He's still going to hurt you, though. Ah, uh, really? Because he's shooting in a straight line. Uh, I, see. I think if you click him, you can then mouse over his. Yeah, and you can see. Uh, it doesn't really say, actually. Oh, maybe he doesn't, because he's doing a web. So maybe he won't hurt you. Sorry, I'm talking bollocks. We'll see. It's we'll his, see. Other, his other attack is one that shoots all the way down. Yeah. Oh, but now, yeah, so now he just does that. Look. Yeah. And I'm free of the web. Not that it matters because you can't move after You, you can't move after it, no. But. Alright, I don't want to get you out of the trees. I guess I just can just damage you. Yeah. He's going to heal these people out there, isn't he? But I haven't really got a choice now. So I'm going out the trees because I've learned they're bad. And I'll just shoot you. Maybe I'll hurt him because of the fire. Um, no, because okay. it's it pushed fire him as, well. yeah. as you pushed him. No, no, it's all good. All good. Nothing bad's happening this turn. I'm just not killing enough guys. Yeah. So. And you do want to kill guys as quickly as possible. Because <laughs> <laughs> you will get overrun. Yeah. As you've only, the problem is, as you've only got three mechs, you get to a point when four people are attacking your buildings and then you're stuffed because you can't fight four people at once, especially if yeah. you're webbed. So, this is... I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not saying anything at all. all right. I'll let you work this out for yourself. Environment goes first, which is great, because that's going to get killed, that's going to get killed, and that's going to get killed. I don't have to worry about them, right? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> but I do need to worry about this guy, because he is going to damage that building. And he's a fair step away. He is. And you're at I think you could probably do it with artillery. So we could do it with there, that. but then I'm going to not kill these two. Correct. You haven't got the movement. <laughs> if your guys are in the yellow squares, obviously you die just as much as anyone else does. Yeah. 
Just because it's your guys doing the bombing, doesn't matter. I think I'm going to have to just push these guys out because I need to save that power. Yep. But I can at least do that. Kick him back there. He would die if you punched him there. Because you do uh, two damage. Will, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking this is going to happen anyway because I need to. Yeah, I need I mean, to keep mo moving it, like... your Titan guy makes sense because then you're out of harm's way. Yeah, which is the only other thing you need to worry about. You're going to kill one of those things that's hurting your building, and then you can do whatever you want with your artillery. I think I'll do the artillery first because that's a given move. That is a given move, unfortunately, but it's. Yep. I need to do it. Boom. That's quite good actually, because he might hurt your. Well, he's gonna die anyway, so. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna die, which is good. And now I still wanna go and punch him, I think, don't I? So. Uh, yeah, because you're still gonna kill him in one shot. That Unless. Waste damage, though. That's a waste wait, of wait, ah, I've got an idea here. Um, the guy in 6D. Uh, 6D, D6, this guy. Yeah, he, yeah. He's got three hit points, right? Yeah. You're thinking so, what I'm thinking. I'm going to move yeah. him here, shoot exactly. him, he'll die, and then I'll go around somewhere else and punch him just so that I can maximise my damage. Absolutely. Do that. Push him back into the danger zone! <laughs> and then just go here and punch him, I guess. He'll go yeah. there, he'll set that on fire. A bit more fire is probably good while I'm being overrun anyway. Yeah. There we go. Good, yeah, that dies, that dies. That's not dead, but it's not going to get healed. Good turn. <laughs> oh, because now that their health's gone down, because oh, that thing wasn't—it was... wasn't giving them extra health a turn. It was giving them a plus one on their health I stat. Yeah, I, I thought it was healing them. Okay, more things coming out. This is going to move now, right? Isn't the same spot again. Uh, yeah, he's moved into there. So again. They're gonna die. Yeah, so. The environment always goes them. first. Yep. Right? There's nothing else I can. I just need to damage him a little bit, right? So I mean, if you, move could move, if, if you could move to get onto those bits to stop uh, people attacking, uh, coming the next turn, that'd be great. But I don't think you can go that far, so. No, I'm thinking I want to start moving my guys around a little bit so I have maneuverability. You're only going to have one more turn, so... Oh, uh, yeah. Move Again, here it's anyway. It's pr probably good moving them over that way. I mean, I can go here and punch him to death, so I'll just do that. He dies, these get bombed anyway. And then... That's fine, isn't it? Okay. I'll just get him ready for a bit more maneuverable. There we go. These get killed. Sweet. Yeah. I love the fairly basic animation and design of this game, especially when you consider that this entire game is 120 megs. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Put, this put this is context, surely gearing up to be a tablet game at some point. The Facebook app on iPhone takes up more space than this entire game. Yeah, that's a little bit embarrassing, isn't it? Okay. Punchy. And he's on fire. Nice. And then we're done. Should give him an extra piece of damage. That's not going to hurt my building, right? So I can just do uh, it. It won't, but it won't hurt them either. It'll just push them. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So you may as well... It's, just, it's, it's over here, isn't it? So. Well, yeah, if you moved him up one and then shot the guy, you'd kill one more, just for shits and giggles. True, yeah. Get the XP. I don't know if you get it anyway. Uh, you would not, because they'd run away. Nice. Fire damage. The XP you can see next to their avatars. Oh, yeah, yeah. The once, the X, once the XP goes up, then good shit happens. Nice. Another perfect mission. I mean, these are the easy ones, right? But I'm not complaining. Oh, yeah. Got some power back. Got another star for the Very end of nice. the island, right? Yeah. Yeah, you get this at the end. Destroy the dam. Do not kill the volatile back. This one sounds easier. Let's well, that one is easier, but that one you get extra power. 
Yeah, but I'm going to do them all anyway, right? So. No, you don't. You don't get to do all of them. Oh, really? I uh, just you, assumed that you would I think there'll the be... No, there'll be probably one more, and then there'll be a boss fight on the island, and then that's the ah. island done. So you do want to choose. You do not get to do everything. Uh, I would like to have power. Volatile Vec, Danny on death, drive it away. Oh, I see, I can... Okay, but that's nice to get. This is definitely what I want to get. So, if I do kill the Volatile Vec, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, the Volatile Vec is more of a... You just push it around. Yeah. Because it's nice to have... Oh, it's also got a lot of hit end. points, so... It does, it's not easy to kill. But, I mean, it is if you push it into the water. Um, but you don't want it to detonate near anything. I mean, in the ideal world, I can just go and punch that guy straight away. So let's put him there. Hmm. Where do I want the artillery? I guess the artillery can probably sit at the back, right? Because it can shoot. That's the not map. the artillery. No, no, sorry. I wasn't there. Uh, oh, okay. This is, yeah. I'm thinking of this as my deployment. Yeah, yeah. The artillery can shoot the whole map from this back row, which is nice. Well, not a whole map, but like yeah, the whole yeah, row, yeah, right? Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, this has got to be coming to tablet. Hell, I'll probably pick up on Switch if it came out. Pod incoming, a time pod. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you want to get those. Two for a resupply. Tins <laughs> equipment from the future. You can collect it with your mech or just defend it to the end of the battle. So put any unit on top of it and yep. you'll claim it. Um, alternatively, if no one attacks it by the end, you'll also get it. Now, it usually has very good stuff inside. Yeah. I think I'm just going to go and murder him, get rid of the health straight away, and then I can mm, mortar here, which will push that and push that and I, can grab that straight no, away. No, no. If you mortar there, you'll push the time pod into the mountain and destroy it. Ah, it also is subjected to that. Yes. You'd be better off almost mortaring your own tank in <laughs> order to push them out of the way. Yeah. Although, to be honest, I would probably shoot with the one that's tangled at the Volatile Vec to push it out of the way, and then directly bomb the other one, which will then push your mech, but it won't hurt your mech. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only it only hurts the square it hits, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. But definitely that punch that guy first, because sure he's that giving him one health bonus. Yeah. I think, like you say, I think that's a good, a good shout. Do that so I... Get the freedom. Hang on, if I do this first here, there's one damage to him, pushes me so I'm not webbed anymore. That is a sensible idea. That's a much better plan. Yes. Because then you're not even hurting the volatile one. Because, oh no, he can attack that one and kill it. Yeah. Don't even move him. Oh, you can move him. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. But yeah. Perfect. That, that was a very, very good turn. And hopefully I can sneak him in here next turn. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's not good because he's pinned me. Bugger. Of all the things I don't want pinned by a volatile mech, it's the guy who can't punch anything. <laughs> it's also the guy that does two damage when you punch yeah. him. Yeah. Because how much damage does the volatile mech do? Oh, only one. So it's not the end of the world if he does hurt you. This is a good move, though, right? Even though I'm going to lose an attack this turn, all this sort of stuff. Um, or is it not a rush to get it? Because I just need to save it to the end, right? You just need to make sure that it doesn't die. I mean, I would probably be pushing that guy into the water with an attack. Yeah, so let's move here. Oh, is he going to attack it anyway? Oh, he's going to get hit because of the spit, but that's fine. Go there. Shoot him in the water, he dies. He's safe. He attacks a square, so that's also fine. If you put him by the uh, F4, then you could shoot down into. Oh no, you couldn't. If I go uh, here, though, I can shoot um, this square yeah, and it'll push the this guy away. That's the one I was aiming for. Like that. Yeah, you got it. Now he's free, and Bob can go 
don't know where I want him to go, but away from I the... would put him on top of one of those things. He'll take one damage, but you'll stop another one spawning. Which is totally worth it. Do I agree? Can I You've do this without several more turns? I'll, I'll trust you. You're a pro. Well, I've never won, so. <laughs> Tell me after I lock my turn in. Good. Everything did me damage. <laughs> Today, you <better laughs> bastard. Okay, he wants to do that. But that's easy to move. This is alright. Let's think this through though. If I put him on this row, I can shoot either here. I want to. Sh if I shoot him, it yeah. pushes him out of the way. It does. This is this is tough to stop all this damage. Yes. That coal plant that's wrapped up is one of your bonus objectives. So you yeah. definitely do not want... If, if you're going to suffer a bit of damage, you definitely don't want to suffer it there. Ideally, though, you don't want to suffer it anywhere. No. Which should be possible, because you have a lot of push. And push, remember, you can push people into others to do damage to both. Yeah, I'm thinking... What's to be there? And then I can shoot... If I shoot it here, this is guys. Even, even shows you exactly what will happen. Look, so yeah. they both take one damage each, and then you could probably move your Titan into C two and punch that guy to do an extra two damage. Yeah, and I can then, definitely yeah. kill that guy and save this if I move the mech into here or something, right? Yeah, but I could also bring him in here. Hang on, I think I think this is the move to make. And then I can go here and push these two together. Yeah. And then I can start to do one the, one. But he'll I die. Don't... Yeah. Can you Yeah. If I go him punch him he just dies right but if you punch him you'll punch him ah. into that building it'll hurt him but does he I can I undo think my move, move right I think the move and the punch happen at the same time so he dies but he would also do one damage to that building I can undo the move right if I move him there yeah uh, so you need to highlight with the yeah, yeah so you do two damage and it would damage the building how do I undo my move? Undo me if I go. So now if what I'm thinking then is if I go if that is the rule. Yep. Then You should be able to do this in one turn. Then if I do this, I'm not gonna do it right now, then yeah. he will still take a damage even though he dies, and then I can just shoot the other one. So it's yep. easy, right? Nice. One thing other to mention is that up to the grid defense board, you see it says reset turn. Yeah. Once per Battle, I ah. think. Yeah, once per battle, yeah. you can reset the entire turn. Nice. Save everything. That's good. Yes. Decent move. Uh. I think this <laughs> is your last last turn now. So. You can just suck up the damage to a certain die extent. If I do that, they won't. Even. Yeah, yeah, he he would there unless you punched one of them. Oh, I guess actually, just an artillery blast onto him. If you hurt yourself that. with the artillery, that would actually save him. Oh, it wouldn't. No, this isn't too hard though. This is this is much easier than the last move. If I punch one of them, he goes back. If I go here and shoot him, oh, hang on. I can just that will get rid of most of the damage, and I punch the other guy, right? Yeah. He's shooting that way, though. So that will hit the building. That's bad. But it will hit the, the guy because he's still there. How much damage does the exploding vec do? 
Uh, which one, sorry? You have to... Uh, that one. How much? He's only one doing damage. one damage. So just leave him there. Because the other guy will uh, hit yeah. him rather than the building. Yeah. He hits him. He hits that square. He hits me, but that's fine. And then he needs... Good. Oh, but now you're... Fuck that up, though. Gonna save that. Yeah. Didn't see that one. <laughs> yeah, might need, might need to reset the turn on this one. Or just suck up one good defense damage. It's up to you. But if I reset the turn, I might as well do it, right? Because. Mm -hmm. I mean. <laughs> see the effect. <laughs> I cannot do anything about it, is the other question. If I go here, I can, yeah, I can easily save that. If I go here and do that, then he moves that way, so that's saved. Yep. He can go there and shoot him, and I can just punch him back, and then it's fine, I think. Save the power. I'm not sure if you thought that through. <laughs> Why is that? If I shoot right, him you, back yep. there... And then I punch him back one. Oh, only, yeah. Only actually, one yeah. of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Right. No, you're, you, you are right. You're right. I was getting confused as to which one had the most uh, damage. And then I yeah, take one right. damage. So it should yeah. be fine. Yeah. <laughs> now we get to see what's in the time capsule. Oh, the loot box. Nice. Open the door. It really is like a little loot box. I love it. Ooh. Protect a tunnel by damaging and pushing Jason. So that is. So you've got a new artillery weapon. Nice. So it is different to your normal artillery. So your normal artillery does one damage to the middle and pushes them with no damage. Mm. This one does no damage to the middle but does one to everything it pushes. Yeah. Which is good. But it requires power. So if you equip it to your artillery, you're going to have to take the reactor core out and give it to that. Or use the new reactor core that you've just got. So, for example, here, you can take the weapon out of storage. Each core will increase MX maximum power by one. Yeah. And that requires one additional power to you. So I can yep. theoretically do that right now, right? Yeah, one important thing to note is that once you install a power core into a mech, you cannot take it out. You can move yep. weapons around. So you could, for example, take the Taurus cannon out and replace it with this new one and use the same power if you wanted to. But you'd probably <laughs> want both installed because... Yeah, you want the choice. Yeah. So then you're going to need to give it the reactor core. That's only going to need one more power, or more than one? Yeah, uh, one more. But you only need one more to power the other one. It only uh, needs one power, but right? Let's do it anyway. I don't want to modify it. I do want to drop it in. That requires both the power, right? So oh, I need to, it requires I need both to power. unpower that. Power that up. So at the moment, I have oh, to pick, but if I get more oh, power... Oh, shit. Sorry, this is my fault entirely. No, Look, okay. it, this isn't the artillery that you've just put it in. Oh, it's an artillery it. weapon. It's, you put it in the brute, so it costs one more because it's not the same class. Uh, I can undo it for now, though. I guess I can undo it until it's like locked in. So now... Oh, get both. nice. I didn't even know there was an undo button. Undo recent. So I guess it's like the last one you can undo, maybe. Okay, and now I can have both. There you go. There we go. That. Yeah, there we Makes go. Makes a lot more sense. Cool. I mean, that's I really that's good, because right now choice. I can choose to push things around, or I can do more damage, so... I mean, the reactor cores are great because then you can do so. I mean, that's part of the reason that you're collecting these stars. Because at the end, you'll be able to actually buy reactor cores with the stars. But Nice. In any case, that's the end of this episode. So uh, join us next time when... Where are you going to go? Are you going to go to Chronology Hall, On Town, or the other one? I don't need any more power, so who knows? Who knows? Oh, if you get more power, you get more grid defense, though. Ah, then I do want power. So one of these two. <laughs> ohm. And it's ohms, like resistance ohms, but all I can think of is Om Town. Om Town it is. Alright, join us next time. Om.